So why church? Why, why do people, you know, don't go to church, be the church. You ever heard choose the church of your choice? A famous evangelist used to say, you know, it's like bargain hunting for the best buy. In this case, it's the best church. Choose the church of your choice. So I've always asked, to go, why do people, you know, what is it about church? You know, now many people assimilate into church through their parents. My parents were a Baptist, my parents were a Catholic, and so am I. Many people choose the church in their old age because of that dreaded condition called death and the fear of the afterlife. I got to get my rear end saved before I kick the bucket. Yeah. And, you know, many people get disillusioned with God through church. Yeah, what happens, it happens like this. You know, maybe their minister gets caught with a prostitute or, or you know, mishandling money or whatever. And they, instead of getting disillusioned with, you know, the person, blaming the person, they get dis disillusioned with God. And they'll say, I'll never come back. I'll never have anything to do with God because of what this man did to me or what this church did to me or someone spoke evil or someone said something in my church. And I'm leaving. I'm disillusioned with God because of, some idiot in the church said something. You know, people, this happens all the time. It ha that's the reason people go from church to church to church to church, you know. And when you get disillusioned with God, let me tell you the reason why. It's because a relationship with God doesn't exist. If you had a relationship with God, you wouldn't get disillusioned with God. I guarantee you that. You would never get Men are just, they would never, men would never get in the way of your relationship with God if you had a real relationship with God. The problem is most people don't have a real relationship with God and therefore they get disillusioned through their church with God. Now, preaching, let's talk about preachers here. Most preachers, including myself, we preach from a dis distorted worldview. I, I preach through the filter of my life. I see things as David Freeman can only see them. And that's true of any other minister out there. And you've got to be aware of that. You know, here I am talking about how to begin a relationship with God without church and religion. Well, that's the opposite of what you heard all your entire life. So you might look at me and say, well, wow, he has a distorted worldview here. You know, what's he talking about? But it comes from my experience of, of just not being that impressed with church and religion and realizing that there is a way to connect with the real God, how to begin a relationship with God without church and religion. And that's where it's got to start first. Uh, but don't ever believe that that man that you're listening to, including myself, has a direct line to God. You are an idiot if you believe that. If, if he tells you, God spoke to me, and let me tell you what God said, you are an idiot for believing that. No, no man has a direct line to God. We all speak through a distort, distorted worldview. We all speak through filters, the way I see things. It's, it's my opinion. Yes, it is. You know, it's my worldview. It's my filters, yes. But you've got to have the wisdom to realize and to just take things at face value don't believe me, believe your Bible. If you can't find it in the Bible, don't believe it. Don't believe me if I can't prove it from the Bible. 